Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming to you guys with a product review. And this product review is going to be on some edge control. I finally got to try it out on my box braids. I've tried it on my natural hair. So I wanted to go ahead and come to you guys with a thorough review. Now this edge control I purchased quite a while ago. I did post it on Instagram um, with my dark and lovely products, I believe it was. Now the edge control is from the African Pride brand and this is called the Olive Miracle Silky Smooth Edges and it's supposed to be an edge control. Um, so I've had it for some time now and I tried it out on my natural hair. I wasn't really feeling it on the natural hair so I decided that I was going to wait on the review until I put in my box braids and try it on my box braids and see what happens. So the edge control comes in a little box packaging and it features an African American woman. It looks like she has relaxed hair most likely and she's applying it to her edges and it has her again at the top. She is relaxed. The container for the Olive Miracle Silky Smooth Edges is a clear container 2.5 fluid ounces and it has a jelly consistency just like any other edge control or glaze it's not slippery at all it has a good hold and it has a very very sweet smell so i paid around 3.99 for this product at walmart my local walmart um, they sell them online as well I'm not really sure how much they are online, but you won't spend more than $5 on this edge control, and that's what made me gravitate towards that. I was looking into the Hicks edges. I've heard so many good things about it from relaxed and natural people, but I decided to go for the cheaper route since I know a lot of you guys are looking for budget-friendly products. So I decided to try this out, and overall, I am not um, disappointed. I, I actually like the product. My only complaint that I have about it is the oily consistency. Now this is an olive miracle product, so they are known for their olive oil. The biggest thing with this product is not to overdo it when you're doing your edges. You want to put a small amount, barely, they say a dime size, I say a little bit less than a dime size on your edges. Um, if you live in a humid climate like I do, I live in Georgia, and it's usually very, very hot here, very humid. And by the end of the day, my skin is naturally already oily here than it was in Missouri. So my edge control pretty much sweats out and gets really oily by the end of the day. But if I use less of it, I don't really have that oily forehead at the end of the day. So I found that to be a little bit more helpful. I do love it way more than I did on my natural hair. I like it better with my box braids when I just lay down my baby edges. Um, well baby hairs I should say like I said on the packaging she's putting it on her whole edges which will be like pretty much the first inch or two of the perimeter of your head um, I don't see it laying down that much of my hair but it does do well for your baby hairs I can say I really really like it for my box breaks like I told you guys I usually will use some gel some eco styler gel or the Proclaim styling gel that I had, I used to use that on my edges, and I find the I find myself gravitating more towards the olive oil edge control because it doesn't leave a sticky buildup, when it doesn't leave any flakes or any type of residue. So I really, really love that. And when you're looking for an edge control for your box braids, you want to look for something without a residue. So I think this would work very, very well on your edges when you're in a protective style where you can't really get in to wash out those edges and wash out the buildup. Now as far as my perimeter, since I've been using the edge control, my, perim my perimeter of my head still looks really really good. Um, the braids still look pretty pretty fresh because there is no buildup. So yeah, so that's my overall thoughts on it. I actually love the product. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it an 8.5 if they can get rid of the um, oily buildup. I don't know if it's just my climate. It may just be me. Let me know in the comments below. Have you tried the product? 
mask and do you have that oily buildup or greasy buildup I guess that's what you would call the greasy buildup it's like when you put too much grease on your scalp and then it just starts to drain down your forehead that's kind of the effect that I get from it when I use too much but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next review hey guys so I'm just popping in really really quickly to just give you guys a little reminder on the world natural hair show as well as an update and this is not a regular scheduled video i'll still have my monday scheduled video coming up tomorrow